Good happy Friday morning. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. <coughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Identity of motorcyclist killed in Salem crash released. Salem police said a motorcyclist died after a serious crash Thursday night. Two arrested in Middletown heroin bust. Police in Middletown made a pair of arrests Thursday night following a heroin bust on Route 153. Pedestrian seriously injured after being struck by car in Manchester. A male victim was rushed to a nearby hospital with several serious injuries, police say. State to test playgrounds, school for potential harmful chemicals. Testing underway at Merrimack Manufacturing Plant will now include soil testing at playgrounds and schools in the area. Tourism Conference to kick off summer season. Summer travel season will kick off May 2nd to the 3rd when the New Hampshire Governor's Conference on Travel and Tourism is held. Andy Cruz named Manchester Granite Chamber of Conference Citizen of the Year. The Greater Manchester Cam Chamber of Conference has a distinguished list of civilian leaders who have been named Citizen of the Year on Thursday night. Another name was added, perhaps long overdue. Opening day, a hit with fans for New Hampshire Fisher Cats. The first official home game of the New Hampshire Fisher Cats season is in the book. As opiate epidemic grows, more overdoses seen in public spaces. The opiate epidemic in New Hampshire is not restricted to private homes, as data shows that overdoses have happened in streets, restaurants, and other businesses. Two arrested after shots fired through apartment ceiling. Two men were arrested and more than a dozen guns and several types of drugs were seized after a Lebanon woman found a bullet lodged in an apartment floor, police said. Phillips Exeter investigators don't include current faculty members, police say. Police in Exeter said Thursday they want to assure current students and parents at Phillips Exeter Academy that ongoing investigations into sexual misconduct do not include any more current faculty members. GOP candidates for governor say they support right to work. Passing a right-to-work law has been a priority of New Hampshire Republicans in the past, and it's an idea that might be getting new legs. Farms take advantage of mild winter. Farms in the Lakes region are off to an early start this spring because of the mild winter. 
Hanover police warn residents about phone scam. Hanover police are warning residents about a reported phone scam designed to obtain money from victims. Goffstown woman arrested on suspicious of DUI with child in car. An intoxicated Goffstown woman was arrested in Manchester Tuesday for driving with her four-year-old child in the car, police say. Nine interesting moments of the Democratic debate. Number one, Sanders tries to make nice on qualified comments. Clinton throws it in his face. Number two, Clinton and Sanders argue over who's tougher on Wall Street. Number three, crowd roars when Clinton transcript comes up. Number four, Sanders concerns Clinton on minimum wage bill. Number five, Clinton apologized for 1994 crime bill. Number six, Sanders roll out a planned frack. King attack. Number seven, Sanders Nanati isn't right all the time. Number eight, Clinton trots out the numbers. And number nine, Sanders wins the crowd. Belgium minister resigns after airport security criticized. Belgium's transport minister has resigned after a secret European Union report detailing last fees in airport security overseas was leaked in the wake of the March 22nd bombings at Brussels Airport and Subway. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday. Goodbye, everyone.